हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू जावाई जैसम एंड एज ऑफ नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड लाइक वट इज एर ए हाउ वी कैन डू वर्क विद द एर ए वट इज द यूज ऑफ एर ए एंड वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द एर आर एवेलेबल्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द टाइप्स आर द एवेलेबल्स इन द एर एके सो बेसिकली एर ए ऑफ द जावा हैविंग ए थ्री टाइप्स विच इज सिंगल डायमेंशनल डबल डायमेंशनल एर ए और मल्टी डायमेंशनल एर ए बट in top of that we can say error uh, like array having a several type of the data okay so we can store those data in the different different ways so based on that category we have classified the array in java like how many types of the array in java okay types of the array in java so here you can see i have categorized the array which is single dimensional array so as of now we have discussed this about this array which is int array and single square bracket okay equal to new int single square bracket that is called single dimensional array okay that is called single dimensional array okay this is most basic type of the array in java it is a collections of the element of the same data type that are stored in the continuous block of the memory the element are the access using the index that start at 0 and incremented by the one for each subsequent element so we have already discussed like in the single dimensional array always <coughs> the array start with the indexing point is 0 and it will go to the four so if you not watch my previous video please go and first watch those video then only you can understood this lectures otherwise maybe you can't understand like what is the indexing what is the length and what other things also okay <coughs> let's understand what is the multi dimensional array so this is the array that contains one or more array as it elements in java is a multi dimensional array are the menu plated as a array of array for example a two dimensional array is an array of array where each sub array represent a row of data so every sub array is represent as a row of data okay so how like multi dimensional array will look like okay so if i go to the notepad so this is the single this is the single dimensional single dimension array if you talk about the multi dimension so it will look like that a yeah, double dimension you can say so if you go with the multi dimensional or double dimensional so whenever you create a array for example i want to create a string of array so i can write str and here we have to give double square bracket okay and equal to new for example i have to create a string so i can write a string and also here i will give two and then after semicolon also here is will represent a row and this will represent column so i want to create a 3 by 3 array so we can create like that same thing i want to create for the integers so this is the 2 by 2 array we can say or multi dimensional also so a r r you can give int data type and this is also int otherwise other is thing so we have created two object which is str double dimensional double dimensional array okay so like that we can create how it will look like so for the look like uh, we can now uh, <coughs> discuss here so basically if you go and talk about the double dimensional array so it will look like that it will look like that this is something like a uh, one row and one column we have to take 
so if I take 3 by 3 so this is the row column and also same thing we have to take like so this is the array called 3 by 3 so let me write uh, and create object for that this is double dimensional so int arr equal to new int of 3 of 3 <coughs> let me make it 60 okay so this is the things Okay, let it be. So this is the something like uh, two dimensional array we have created which is 3 by 3. So this index value how it will start. Here we have seen like the index value will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. How here? So this one also same thing will be started. Okay, so it will start with the 0, 0. So for example, this is 0 index okay so it will consider like okay this is the zero <coughs> okay and uh, okay so here you have to think about in the two dimension so if you think about the two dimension so here also start so this one will be zero this one will be one this one is two this one is what let me give also <coughs> so this is the zero this is one and let me take uh, this one is a 2 indexing on the uh, like uh, column wise if you go with the row wise this is the one row this is the second row this is the third row so if you go with the row wise we can say this is the 0 index this is the 1 index and this is the 2 index okay but if I want to know about what is the position of this particular value index so this position is 0, 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 because this one is also 0 and this one is also 0 if I go to this one we can say this is the 0 and this is 1 so we can see 0 comma 1 if I go to this one you can say this is a 0 comma 2 if I go here we can say this is the 1 and this is the 0 so we can consider here 1 comma 0 we can consider this one <coughs> 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 we can consider this one 1 comma 2 <coughs> If you go here you can consider this one is index point so this is the index we are deciding right now okay this is the indexing only I am doing here which uh, I am writing a particular position so this is the index number 0.0, .0. this is the index number 0 0.1 if you know the vector in the 12th class you can do it easily it's the same only so 2 comma 0 okay and here if you go we can write 2 comma 1 okay and here if you go you can write 2 comma 2 so if you see here be careful and please understand this is the very very important okay if you don't know about it uh, you can't write even one line of the code for the area you can't do the logical questions also okay so make sure for doing a logical questions you have to know about the single dimensional array you have to know about the multi-dimensional array how it will look like 
what are the index positions so in the single dimensional array it's very simple we can start with the zero and it will go up to the length minus one that is fine but in the multi-dimensional array which is three by three array i have created which is two dimensional array you can say we are considering this is the 0 1 2 0 1 2 and based on that we are uh, giving the index position of the particular cell so this is the one cell which having an index number 0 comma 0 so if i want to access this particular value i can write for example i want to access this particular value or let's uh, assume like i want to access this particular value okay in the two dimensional array i have want to access this particular value so what i will write here so for example here it will store something like 200 i want to print those value what i can do i can write s out s out system dot out of print and inside this i can write arr and in the first index i will write one and in the second index i will write one so through that I am able to face the value from the this index value. So it will print this index value. If you if I want to modify what I can write, I can write ARR of 1, 1. And here I will store some value which is 200. So like that we can store the value also and like that we can face the value from the array also, which is two dimensional array and it's a very very important okay so if you know the diagram that is very very helpful to you to understand and do the code with this okay let's go to the sts and try to understand so this is the single dimensional array we have created how we can store the data and how we can do the operations with the single dimensional array same thing same thing let's create one class okay and uh, once we created the class we can do one thing we can create object for it okay so let's write a class called uh, the um, 2d 2d array so 2d array so this is the class name i have given no 2d is not possible so start with uh, pw to the array okay because we can't start the class name or identify with the help uh, start with the in a start with the some numerical value okay let's write the main method <coughs> inside the main method i have to create one object which is a uh, 2d array so i will write arr let's go with the integer only and here you don't want to give any things here just leave it free don't give any value here okay just give the type array and array type is nothing but 2d array or 1d array you can write here and also create object for that so write new keyword and what are the type of array but make sure here you have to give the row so this is the row and this is the column okay this is the row and this is the column you have to give let me copy this <coughs> okay paste it here and give the row is 3 you can give other also and column is also 3 one more things this is the optional this is the optional but this is not a optional okay so here you can see <coughs> if you create a 2d area so this is not optional you have to give this value but this is optional you don't give here also which is column it's fine but if you remove here and if you give here that will not work uh, still having a so so make sure you have to give the row and column is a optional you can write here column is a optional optional so here also write three it's fine we need to write it so this will create one array which we already have seen here and this is nothing but it's a one of object so this object will be created okay and this object will created and this object will be stored inside the arr 
this object will be stored inside the ARR here is nothing but array what <coughs> array reference okay now this is storing this value the maybe the base address of this one is 10 0 10 0 okay and uh, here also having a one length and uh, this length whatever you give in which is uh, two or three so it will give it okay which is three okay fine <clears throat> fine but if you create the three by three object it will multiply both three three ja nine so it will say create the nine cell internally okay let's go and print the length now try to print the length so s out this is the one of the magic we are going to see error dot length what is the length <coughs> so length is three length is three so it will consider only row I hope you understood okay length is three okay that is the first thing now I want to print and see the what is the default value having this array so default value is the depend on the type if you create the integer type array it will give zero if you create the string it will give uh, something called null if you create double 0, 0.0 it will give like that okay default value of the data types now I want to access the value of this particular position for example I want to access this value 2 into 1 position so how can I access it I can write s out and here I will write array which is the reference of the array and here I have to give 2 into 1 which is 2 and then after have to give 1 so it will give those particular index of the value which is 2 into 1 is this one okay if you if you run this code you can see 0 okay do one thing try to modify the value of this position so just copy it i have to modify this value and here you can put something like 300 or uh, 3000 and again once you modify try to print it so like that only you can access any cell of the array like that you can access any cell of the array let's try now and try to print it so now you can see after modify you are able to access the value which is 3000 and previously we have access which is zero so like that you can modify the particular array value and like that you can face the particular value from the array I hope you understood clearly how we can create a two-dimensional array, how we can store the data inside this, how the memory will look like, how object will look like also. Okay, let's go and understand something else. So this is the dynamics array, also known as the array list. So I will explain these things into the collection. Okay, another is a jagged array. So jagged array I will cover. It's a part of the multi-dimensional only, but having a flexibility to uh, give something else like here uh, we have created uh, like that array which is three by three. So we can create uh, any amount of the, this one. So we can give this optional, and uh, we can uh, like uh, put the value in the different different ways. So I will explain those also. Okay, later. As of now, it's fine jagged area i will explain in anonymous array we are doing here you can see here so this is nothing but anonymous area only i have created the object this is the anonymous area only int array and directly i have given the array i have not written any what new keyboard in the curly braces i have given the array value and array will be created so that is called the anonymous array so we can discuss it also okay so this is the basic type of the array okay let's go further so this is the one dimensional array so one dimensional array in java is the array that store the collections of the value of uh, same data type in the linear sequence 
which uh, each element having a unique index right in other words a1d array is a list of the value that can be accessed using the single index of the value that is fine here is the example of declaring initializing 1d array so we have uh, created one array here int array numbers equal to new int which is pipe index we have stored the value inside this so this is the numbers reference variable of the array and we are storing 10 20 30 40 50 once you store it you can now uh, so this is the one way to store the value inside the array this is the another way we can write int numbers and directly we can store the value inside this this is the int numbers equal to new int of the file you can create and again you can store the value inside this so this is the way to create a one single dimensional array in java this is the multi-dimensional array to create a java so itself uh, 2d array is a collection of the element that are the arranged in a grid of the matrix so if you know the matrix in the 12th or 10th based on that we can arrange the 2d array as of now i have show you the diagram also here you can see this is nothing but matrix only so based on the matrix we are arranging the 2d array which is multi-dimensional array or 2d array okay with the each index element having a unique row and column index okay here is an example of the declaring and initializing the 2d array in java so if you want to create a 2d array you can write like that data type format and matrix equal to new int and you can specify a row and column and now we can store the data inside this also like matrix so this is the reference variable of 0 into 0 position we have stored 1 0 into 1 position we have stored 2 0 of 2 position we have stored 3 so like that we have stored all those values inside this ok and this is the syntax to create a uh, directly uh, through the anonymous uh, array we can create a object for the 3d so if you don't want to do these things that much of the line of the code you can directly create a object for that if you know the value so in 2d array matrix equal to open the turtle braces and write here Turtle braces 1, 2, 3, comma, turtle braces 4, 5, 6, turtle braces 7, 8, 9. Again, close the turtle braces. So, this is the one row, and this is the multiple three things we have given, which is we have like a multiple row. Okay, and this value will be format, it will become 2D array, which is matrix. So, like that, we can create a what? 2D array, which is look like that. So if I store the value here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19. Okay, like that it will store here. Okay, fine. Let's go to the multidimensional array, which is 3D array. So multidimensional array Java is an array where each element in the array is itself an array. So each element in the array is itself array, which can be used for the dimension 1D, 2D, 3D and so on. In the order words is a multi-dimensional array is an array that contains the other array as itself so we can store the array inside the array here is the example of declaring and initializing a 2d array in java <coughs> a 3d array in java so this is the 3d array so if you want to write a 3d 4d 5d you can write it no issue but uh, whenever you write uh, 3d which is int square bracket square bracket square bracket three square bracket we have to give and this is the reference variable q and now you can write new int and we have given like x y z okay x y z so this is the three 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 so three by three array it will create and each element of the array each element so this element is also a one array also okay so this is the one array and in top of that one array will be there so that is called 3d array like that you can store the data inside the array which is 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 2 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 2 0 2 0 0 2 1 so this is the index positions you can say and based on this index position we can store the value inside this array so you can go through that and you can try to store the value inside the 3d array and let me know okay i will explain no so this is the 3d array syntax so you can create a cube and this is the anonymous you can say anonymous we are creating like that so this is the triple and cube and directly you can put the data inside this one two three four five six like that 
so this is called 3d array <coughs> okay this is the dynamics array in java so we have to create like a jagged array and we can put the data so we have created the array list here and we are putting inside the data okay this is the jagged array in java so these are the also another type of the java so if you create a jagged array which is a theory so this is the optional i already told you okay so jagged array index point is zero we can create new array and we can store it okay each and every index one we have stored two five so based on your requirement you can put the data inside this array so that is called jagged array anonymous array in the java so whenever you create an object with the new int one two three we have declared directly it is called a anonymous array you can say okay and we have printed here also so this is the thing working with the array in java basic syntax so this is the basic syntax you understood okay so working with the array in java involves several operations such as creating and slicing accessing and manipulating array here is the brief overview of the operation creating array to the create array in the java you need to declare the array variables with the data types and size for example created the array with the integers with the elements can be follow the codes so this is the things this is the initialization of the array so int array new number so this is the initialization part we can say and uh, this is called initialize with a specific value of the array this is the accessing array so whenever you try to access the value numbers of two so this is third element is uh, accessing the array okay so let's go through that okay and then after i will explain more about it okay each and everything okay so as of now in this uh, series okay so as of now we have discussed about types of the array also we have cover and 1d array i hope you understood 2d array we have uh, understood but we can do the code and also we can do the 3d array in the upcoming lectures okay so i have not covered yet i have just go through that and i will give the overview of this array okay that's it later i will explain with the code each and everything okay thank you so much